Hello guys and welcome back to another video. The fishing recently has been really hard. I've been trying with heavy laws for the past maybe four or five sessions with complete blanks. It's been horrendous. Um, but we decided to get out with dead baits. It's got cold weather that's just hit. It's very, very bitter. I'm gonna get out here, see if we can get any fish. Um, fingers crossed we can on the deads because they're gonna be very sort of slow and lethargic with the cold weather hitting. Um, and I'm gonna be fishing sardines and mackerel. So without further ado, let's crack on. We'll see if we can get any fish. We'll run through the rigs very quickly in a bit, but it's the same as what I always use for my dead baiting in winter. So let's get on, see if we can catch any fish. Fingers crossed I can. Sea baits are normally quite good. You're getting some lethargic pike to bite. Alright, I think we're in. Gonna see if there's a fish on there. Yep. There we go. It feels like a jack. It's a small jack. <laughs> I'll take it. Don't reckon it will gonna be about eight pounds this fish. Oh, barely hooked. <laughs> barely hooked. Oh. <laughs> I'll just quickly unhook it in net. No. Oh, he's an up to him, We're all right. I've heard the dogs then. So you can see this side of it, look. Looks like another pike had all this one. Got to go out from the lamprey. Well, the no lamprey that are in here. <laughs> Lovely well, little pike. It's a shame he's got a bit of a gash in him. It looks like another pike's probably had all of it. Probably a big mummer. There's a couple around here that probably go six or eight pound in this little section. So slipping back quickly, he's been resting in the net a little while. He's definitely going to be active. He's getting back, good start on the sardine. The rig is as simple as you can get really. It's just a small float, small pike float. With a little stop that comes up from it, a little float stop. Then it runs down to a 30 pound wire trace. And then two number four treble hooks, semi-barbed. They go into your dead bait. One thing I know when you're doing this type of fishing in winter is you don't hang around too long in the same spots. You see this fish is going to be very lethargic, probably not moving much. But just sort of slowly bring your baits in, just in case there's one looking at it. Just got to keep mobile, keep moving. Yep, definitely. There we go. We're in. Not a bad fish either. There he is. And I got my bait back. Nice fish, probably about seven pound, eight pound. Oh, awesome. Beautiful pike. Oh, I can feel the hooks. Just through that scissor there. Let him rest in a minute. Always livens him up a bit. 
Yep, one hook just towards the back of the mouth. There we go. And the other one's at the front. Barbless hooks out straight away. An awesome fish. Just check his mouth for any other hooks, there isn't. Right, let's get him on. I've unhooked him and I'll let him have a little rest. Nice fish, probably a little bit bigger than I estimated. It's probably around six pounds, something like that. Really nice condition. That's how we like him. Really, really ice cold. Um, I just saw a fish swirl on the opposite bank. So I decided to cast a bait straight out to where the swirl was. And uh, probably 10, 15 minutes later, got a take from this guy. Took the sardine. Let's get him back. Sardines are the king bait. When you decide to go, you can always chuck over, or chuck in, should I say, some of your leftover baits. <laughs> Feeds the pike, gets them in good shape, ready for the next time when you come out. And if tomorrow somebody comes out to this spot, the pike might already have fed. <laughs> and you have a crap session. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. As always, I've enjoyed filming this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And for those of you that are out there blanking just like I was for the last four or five sessions, don't worry, it gets better, trust me. Eventually you'll catch one. Maybe go onto the dead base if you've been fishing with laws. It's very cold at the minute over here in the UK. So I'll uh, catch you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Go down to the description below to find my Instagram and my Facebook page. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Give it two seconds. You ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs>